Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Parameter Estimation. And in this video, we're going to derive the Bayes estimation or estimator for the variance of a normal distribution. So we let our data, Xi, be IID, normal, mean mu, and variance sigma squared. And we have a sample size of n. The density for a normal distribution, of course, is this. I won't review that too much. And then we need to derive the joint PDF or the likelihood function. And the difference is whether we think these are random and that's constant or this is random and that's constant. But the equation is the same. So the likelihood is equal to this. So it's basically the product of each of these marginal distributions, which then, you know, you do this n times and you get, you know, n that raised to the nth power and then this to the nth power and you sum the exponents which ends up being like this. Now in Bayesian analysis it's so common to just to to remove the constants and look at the random you know keep the random variables and when you drive the posterior distribution in the end if it looks like a common distribution well then you automatically know the constants and if it doesn't look like a common distribution, well, then you have to go back and derive the constants. So here, we're going to, you know, get rid of these constants and everything. Oh, and, and they're constants because the random variables are mu and sigma squared. So this comes down. Um, now this piece comes down. But then in here, we add and subtract x bar. And then we do this product and we end up with this. And then since, you know, since it's this times that plus, you know, this times that in the exponent, we can separate them. So we have this and this and this. And the reason we do that is because this piece right here is the only piece that contains mu. And we're going to integrate mu out of this equation later because we're really only re interested in sigma squared. And so these, these pieces, you know, have the, the random variable sigma squared in them. Now, in Bayesian analysis, we need a prior distribution. And we're going to use a prior distribution of 1 over sigma squared. And this is called an uninformative prior, right? We're not assuming anything on mu. And our information about sigma squared is a, is a flat prior. It's a uniform distribution, essentially. Um, so it's equally likely to be anywhere in there. Now the posterior distribution is proportional to the prior times the likelihood. Oh, and a quick question, why isn't this equal to? Well, to put equal to there, then we would need to divide by the joint um, PDF of the XIs. And we're not. But since that's constant, it you know we don't really need it now so we'll just call it proportional to so we bring this down and this piece and this piece can be combined and that's what we do so it comes down comes down and then this and this is combined now we really only want the marginal uh, posterior distribution for sigma squared so let's integrate out mu squared from this and so to get this marginal distribution of sigma squared given the data, we integrate our um, the joint posterior distribution over all values of, of mu. So that's what we do. Um, the pieces that don't have a mu in it, we, we bring out front. Then we multiply and divide by the same constant. So we're multiplying by 1. We're integrating this, and that's the piece that has mu in it. But if you look at this carefully, you know, remember mu is the random variable minus a constant squared uh, minus 1 half, you know, sigma squared over n. And then we have this. So this looks exactly like a standard normal distribution. And this integrates to 1. So what's left over is this piece. Now, in the next step, um, 
the 2 pi and the n are constants and then this sigma squared to the 1 half will get taken into here and then this will stay the same and, and so that's what we do here but this is the form or shape of a inverse gamma distribution and so we know that if we multiply this by the right constants which we could go back and calculate, but we don't need to because we know that that's an inverse gamma distribution. So the posterior distribution of sigma squared given our data is an inverse gamma distribution with alpha n minus one over two and beta two divided by n minus one over s squared. Now, this is something to be careful upon. Now, some, if you generically call the parameter here, beta some like the beta in the numerator some like it in the denominator this one tells us that we have the beta in the denominator so you just if you like the beta in the numerator here then this is it's the reciprocal of this but either way you come up with the same answer so under zero one loss for the uh, estimator for sigma squared that's the mode of the posterior distribution which is beta times alpha plus one, you know, inverse, which, so it's one over that. And so if we plug in the information that we have, then, you know, this gets carried up, the two cancels that plus two, and we end up with this. So the minus one cancels with the minus one in that S squared, and we're left with this. And that is the Bayes estimator for sigma squared when using zero one loss. And I have a video called the mode of an inverse gamma distribution if you want to look at the calculation for this value here. Now the squared loss Bayes estimator for sigma squared is the mean of the posterior distribution, which is beta times alpha minus one, you know, raised to the minus one. And I have a video called mean variance of an inverse gamma distribution if you want to look back at the calculation for that. So we plug in the beta and the alpha and then we simplify it and then this minus one cancels with the minus one in that and we're left with this. And so this is the Bayes estimator for sigma squared under squared loss. Well that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.